Hey everyone, and welcome. This is Raw Matt. I'm here today talking about some health, talking about the vitality that is wealth, and here we are in Palm Springs, my old stomping grounds. Thought I would give you a little tour, and uh, it's summer right now, so it's about 117. I doubt you'll see any hikers. Here's the mountain that the tram is on the top of. It's about 6,800 feet to the top of the tram. 10,000 feet elevation, pretty insane really. Over here on the left we have Tokwitz Canyon and that is the area right in that vicinity where there's a nice big waterfall. Sadly the ranger station over there makes it off limits to go to. So when you come here on your travels and you're driving downtown, if you really want to get to that canyon and see it, Go after seven, the rangers leave. You didn't hear that from me though. Now, uh, here is downtown, this entire area. It's pretty flat here, so it makes biking very easy. And there's only a few houses on the, on the mountain here. It's against the law really to build on it. I don't know how they had the right to do that. That was done a fairly long time ago, I presume. Uh, I'm on a trail right now. Uh, not too far. You can see the vehicle down there. I didn't go very far. I just felt like doing this video and giving you a good view. Uh, I came up here to actually talk about something unique, something that people have a weird misconception about, and that's with omega-3 fatty acids. Now, I have a question for you guys, and that is, do people live in the desert anywhere in the world, and have they? I, I would answer that with yes. We have Native Americans, we have the Middle Eastern, we have we have deserts, the Sahara Desert is one of the oldest, 6,000 years old, and we know that people have lived there. And as you can see, this these conditions are rough. They're pretty hard. And you won't find fish unless somebody decided to make a camp near a river. And there are no rivers here, but we know that the Native Americans lived over here. We have the Kawea Indians, I would like to ask then, so what was their source then of omega-3 fatty acids? It would have been from flaxseed. That's, or chia. That's, this isn't prime area for chia seed. This is more of a flax climate. And some, some purslane. And negligible amounts in fruits that would grow in the area. Most of the fruit that's in this area are wild cherry. We have grape by the water. We have mesquite and we have carob as part of tree legumes and a date. So that pretty much covers the diversity of flora in this region. And there isn't much omega-3. So what did the human body do with this? I mean, everyone says, well, you have to have them and you need them all the time. Nobody got flax every single day of their life. There's no way, it's impossible. So there's a lot of like debate and confusion really going on and people think that they really need to reach towards the fish to obtain these omega-3 fatty acids and that isn't true. That's true I would say for somebody that's been eating harmful foods or their body is degenerated or they have a disease but mostly we're talking about 55 plus. The reason why is because there's an enzyme in the body called delta-6 desaturase that actually converts these alpha-linoic acids to DHA and the body does this quite well and readily on its own, especially in youth. And it actually makes its own uh, fatty acid ratio. I mean, so if you don't get fats, you're good. you'll be all right, you'll live. It's just uh, really blown out of proportion. It's a huge marketing scheme right now that's really going on with these natural fats. Now, should you take them? In our modern day society, yes. And, and the simplicity come, of this comes from the amount of oils that we do. We have a lot of pro-inflammatory omega-6s in the diet and we have very few amount of threes. And this imbalance really raises the homocysteine levels in the, in the body and that ends up being our, our detriment. However, I don't bother or worry about it myself because I don't really do a lot of the, the standard simplistic way of eating where Everything's been highly processed and highly cooked. I don't think fats should ever be heated. They are denatured extremely fast. Um, I, I think that they're better in their natural state. They have to drain through the lymphatic system so they can actually toxify the body as they 
go all the way through it. And a lot of people that have acne problems have this problem because of the fats that are in their diet because fats are what regulate a lot of our hormones. Cholesterol is a liquid hormone and it comes from fats. So um, keep that in mind. I would say don't, don't stress out and don't trip out on the omega-3s uh, so badly that you think you need them every single day, all day long. Uh, don't create an imbalance. I'm not saying neglect them. And uh, if you see them in the store, I recommend hemp seed being probably your best uh, in, the, in the nuts and seeds category. And that's because those fats uh, from nuts and seeds are all uh, contained in mostly... Uh, the rocks are actually too hot to sit on. <laughs> it's burning me. All right. Oh, my gosh. Look, we have a couple hikers coming. All right. I'll wrap this up. Uh, so the hemp seeds are the best because they contain a natural protein combination called indestin and it matches your body's uh, assimilation of protein on what we require and what we want at a very high rate it also can they have no enzyme inhibitors so there's no soaking or sprouting that's required to obtain all the nutrients and uptake them into the body so that's a really good one yeah the um the algae remove them i uh the the e3 live the blue green algae these come from klamath lake it's polluted it's trash i know that's where fish get their theirs from but we don't need these, these things. They're too toxic to the human body. There's too many heavy metals in these uh, for me to promote them anyway. I mean, you can have them all you want, but I'm not gonna allow, I'm not, I'm not gonna condone it, I should say. And then uh, fruits have a lot of fats in them, and naturally. The best fruit would be acai. That would probably be your highest in the omega-3s if you're really looking there. But I mean, even mangoes have them in some degree. Blackberries, things that people really don't think of have omega-3 fatty acids in them. And then, um, uh, let's see, so fruit, nut seeds. Uh, algaes. I guess uh, that pretty much wraps it up. Uh, I'll just finish off with that. And if you have any questions about this, leave comments below. I, I like to keep my videos short anyway, so I hope you enjoyed.